What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Uh, my name is Rick, of course, uh, or Dangerous36M. And yeah, the doorbell just rang. Anyway, <laughs> uh, it's been a while since my last episode. Uh, there's a couple reasons for that. As you can see, this is not actually a live commentary unless... Uh, until... My, uh, unlike... Unlike is the word I'm looking for. Unlike my previous episodes because... Uh, well, as I said, there's a couple reasons. The main reason is because I've been thinking a lot about how exactly I want to continue this LP. Because uh, the thing I've been doing wrong is the fact that uh, every episode up until now has been one live commentated session. And, uh, you know, after playing for three and a half hours straight, you're not going to sound that exciting anymore. <laughs> Especially when it's an episode like this where you pretty much battle for 30 minutes. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just clicking moves over and over again. It's, there's just not much to talk about. Uh, as I said, you know, I've been, I had been playing for like 30, no, not 30, three hours, and it, it just gets boring for me as well as for you guys, I think, and, uh, and you know, it's just, it, that's just the main thing I've been struggling with, uh, how do I fix this, and uh, yeah, so what I'm thinking about doing is just uh, recording one episode at a time, and uh, what came to mind then was the fact that, you know, uh, obviously I've been reading comments, uh, but the thing is, you know, when you read comments and, and people are like, well, you should have done this, or you should, uh, could you please use this Pokemon? Well, people like Wild Chase, for example, who have, who already, can, uh, I think, finished this LP, uh, you know, record, like, long sessions as well uh, at once. And, and you know, feedback like, uh, like, use this gulping you're about to catch uh, in your next episode. Well, he already has, like, 20 episodes pre-recorded uh, at the at the time he, he received that comment, and uh, that's just, you know, that kind of defeats the whole purpose of comments in the first place, unless it's just, like, uh, like straight, like, feedback, basically, you know, saying, oh, cool episode, blah, 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 but, uh, but like, there's no interaction whatsoever, and, and I, what I think I should, I, I want to do is, uh, is record one episode, for example, let's say this one is, uh, is live, like, let's just say this one's live commentated, and uh, let's say on this video, someone comments, dude, you should totally use that that ball toy right there in your next episode, and, and use that for the rest of this LP. And let's say that comment gets like, like a hundred thumbs up, then, you know, I, I then I want to use that thing, you know. And and if I have twenty episodes pre-recorded already, then that's, I can't do anything about that. And uh, and what I think I'm gonna do is just, uh, you know, just record one episode at a time, uh, upload it to Moshpit or let DMac upload it to Moshpit. And uh, and wait 24 hours until you know you guys have been leaving comments and suggestions on what I should do, and uh, and influence that in my in my next episode pretty much, which I which I think is gonna bring this whole whole new feeling of uh, of interaction to the table, and uh, that just sounds really interesting to me, and I I want to know what you guys think about it. Let me know, and. Uh, yeah, and uh, and if you if you have like different suggestions or different or you feel like I should do things different, other things or this particular thing or anything really, just let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm reading everything, and uh, yeah, you know, feedback is greatly appreciated, and I'm definitely up for change because as I I think I mentioned before, this is my first ever let's play, so I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing either. <laughs> I have no idea. So uh, so help me out, guys. Help me out. Uh, another couple, th or uh, blah. <laughs> another few things that I uh, I kind of want to ask you guys is uh, first of all, uh, you know this game as you all know is uh, is about shadow Pokemon and you know catching them and blah 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 freeing them from their from their dark existence or something I don't really know exactly but uh, <laughs> but the goal of this game is to catch every shadow Pokemon out there and uh, I know for a fact that Chase in his let's play has not been doing this. Uh, some people have been leaving comments about that on his Let's Play. Uh, but what do you guys think? Should I catch every single Pokemon out there? Uh, I know I missed out on a couple uh, at the beginning. Should I go back and catch those as well? Uh, what should I do? Uh, I don't know. Let me know. Um, yeah. And, uh, and you know, if I don't catch every Pokemon out there, that kind of defeats the whole purpose of what I talked about before, the whole interactive thing, you know. Because... Uh, you know, if I don't catch a certain Pokemon, and like, let's see, let's say 150 people really want to see me use that Pokemon, then, well, that sucks, because I already killed it, so, <laughs> so yeah. Um, hmm, okay, uh, next thing is, uh, you know, speeding up battles. I, I asked this before, and a lot of people were like, well, you know, why not speed up the boring parts, why not? 
then again, what are boring parts? Define what is boring. I don't know exactly. Like, boss battles obviously are, you know, have priority. Those are not going to be sped up because they're of high importance, I guess. Um, but let's say uh, catching shadow Pokemon. Should I speed that up or not? Is that boring? Is that not boring? Uh, I don't know. Like, maybe I should just decide on that myself. Uh, maybe it's wrong of me to just ask you guys exactly because, like, I, I can't really... It, it's hard because I can't really, like, uh, I don't know how to explain this. I can't really... Uh, <laughs> like, there's obviously mixed opinions, first of all. Like, half you are probably going to be like, well, yeah, don't speed anything up because I want to see everything. Well, the other half is going to be like, well, I don't want to see this part, so just speed that up. And, and like, and then I'm looking at these this recording that I just did and I'm like, well, is does this... Does, is, does this define boring or is it not boring? I don't know. What should I do? You know, and I'm just sitting there like, like, I don't know. So, uh, it's complicated. I should probably just figure that out myself, to be honest. But, uh, but yeah. Uh, and that's, that's really all I want to talk about in this episode. Um, I guess what I could talk about is uh, what I like so much about this game. I know a couple people don't like it too much. Uh, a lot of you, I think, do as well. Probably the ones that played it really like it too. Uh, the thing is, like, back in the day when I was, like, 12, 13, I think, this game, uh, or actually, no, Pokemon Coliseum first came out, and, and my cousin had it on his, uh, on his GameCube, I didn't have a GameCube, I only had a, only had a Game Boy Advance, oh no, Game Boy Color, actually, uh, because, or was there already a, an Advance back then, I don't know, but I had a Game Boy, uh, but my parents wouldn't, wouldn't let me play for more than an hour because, uh, a day, because, I don't know, that that would uh, that would give me, like, square eyes or something. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> but whenever I was at his place, you know, I was playing this game as much as I could. But he didn't like it too much, which was bothering the shit out of me. Because he had this amazing game. He had this amazing console. And he wasn't enjoying it at all. And I was like, dude, this is my dream. Why are you not enjoying this? This is so frustrating. And, uh, <laughs> and then, you know, Pokemon XD came out. He didn't get it, but... Uh, and I don't think I had a GameCube back then either, either, and, uh, you know, it, it just looked amazing, like, on videos it looked really great, and it's like, it's, it's like, it's similar to one of those Game Boy games that are, like, really, uh, you know, RPG, whatever, um, I mean, there was a Pokemon game on the Nintendo 64, but that was basically, like, a Battle Frontier feeling, you know, that was, wasn't really any, any story in there. Uh, and you couldn't like walk around or anything unlike unlike and you know Colosseum brought that to the table and then then uh, XD came out and this this game actually starts out uh, like really early you know in, in Colosseum you start out with two level 25 Pokemon I think and this one you start out with a level 10 Eevee which you know I like starting from scratch that just that just is gives it this whole uh, you know more of an RPG feeling even and uh, that's, that's what I really like. I like the whole 3D thing. I like the fact that, you know, I'm playing this on a console, not one of those small DS screens or Game Boy screens or whatever. And, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of these games. And I really hope uh, the next one is not going to be just like, uh, like uh, what's that game called? Uh, you know, Battle Revolution. Because that game has, like, no story mode whatsoever. That is just, like, battling, battling, battling. And uh, I, I like walking around with like a 3D character. I like this kind of stuff. So uh, that's that's pretty much the main thing I really like about this game. I like the 3D sprites as well, and uh, I just I just love it. So what I'm really hoping for is that there eventually is going to be like a, a game like super similar to one of the Game Boy or or, uh, or DS games, you know, without the whole Shadow Pokemon thing. Just just the same game in 3D on a console. That's that's what I like. So. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, I've been rambling for a while now. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, Let me know in the comments what you think about the whole interactive idea. What do you think uh, I should do exactly? How should I continue this? And uh, if you want to see more of me, come check out my personal channel. I've been doing a lot of crazy stuff on there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Peace.